Hello and welcome back to A Tale of a Hero. On our last adventure, we were in the arena, we fought in the arena, we destroyed the arena, sort of. We didn't actually destroy the arena, but we destroyed all the rounds of the arena. And now we're back here. Right, so what are we doing this week? Well, I don't think we've got any side missions to do. I think we've just got some story missions, so I might... So a quick look at the old uh, collection list. What have we got? So we've got to collect the hero dolls. We still haven't got them all just yet, I don't think. So we've got the main mission. Actually, where's... Find Theresa, Theresa again. All right, but we've got book collection which we can't do. Collect hero dolls which we can't do. Hidden booty. Let's go. All right. So apart from the sword and stone, which we might be able to do, I'm not sure yet. Actually, I don't think we can just yet. But we might be able to go. Oh, I can buy. I wonder if I can go to the ante room to buy some things. One sec. I'm just going to go inside here, just to see if I can have a look in that shop again because I want to buy. Oh my god, I can't actually go inside. Your fighting has become legendary round here. Oh, I can't go back in. It's a good job I got that uh, doll. Okay, well, I need to try and find a master greatsword. So what I'll do is I'll probably run off to the story. And then I'll be back after that trying to find a sword. Perhaps. Perhaps, maybe. Okay, so we're back in Nothole Glade. So I want to talk to Bonzo. I want to change my chest tattoo to, serve you. to something more fitting of a firebender. Like I said, this, oh no, the harvest tattoo was... I've got the harvest tattoo, and this is said about the earth and the harvest and stuff, and the sun with the fire. No, maybe it was fire, I can't remember them. But anyway, yeah, we're going to get the fire monkey tattoo because it makes it more attractive, plus that was fire. So it goes with the whole avatar thing, so let's buy that. That's all I'm going to buy for now, unfortunately. Thanks, Bonzo. Then we're going to speak to Wookie. I want to buy some things from Wookie. Right, so I want to go to sell first. I want to sell my... Where are they? Uh, my chainmail boots? Chainmail boots, don't need them. So I can sell them. Uh, weapons, I think I'm fine with weapons and everything else I'm fine with. So I'm going to go to buy. I'm going to go to weapons. I'm going to scroll down to... No, I'm going to go over to weapons. I'm going to... There we go. Then I'm, uh -oh. That's it, to swords. Right, now going to buy a sword because I've got enough money now I've got 40,000 that is enough to buy the master great sword I can now wield heavy weapons so I'm going to purchase the rarest of all weapons and honored in most tales stories and legends that are than any others the go three sorry these golden and black swords are warm to the touch as if left left out in the afternoon sun and seem to almost sing as they cut through the air like all old kingdom weapons they are unbreakable and deadly Cool, yes. So we're going to purchase this because it is a significant amount of damage more than what I'm doing right now. So let's purchase the Master Greatsword. I did it. That's cool. Right, now can I buy... I can't buy the Master Longbow, unfortunately. That's uh, still too much money. Oh, well, that's not a bad. I just got an awesome, powerful weapon. The arena is a tough, dangerous place. Cool. Now we're going to equip that said weapon. I'm doing it properly this time, not a uh, mistake like I did the other day. Let's go down to the Master. So I know we've got... Uh, that could cut this blue tank, but even so, look at that, one six five. And then the master great sword does two thirteen. I suppose in hindsight, I probably should have used the <laughs> cut this blue tank before. Now that I've got something that's even better, but alas, these things happen. So master great sword does equip that. I can augment it. What have I got on that? I've got silver and health. What does silver do? Uh, it's better such as Balvin's undead. Do I want to do that? Do I want to use that? I don't know actually. What I do want to do is health do will be good. Uh, yep, let's do that then. Continuously, oh, yeah, that'd be good. Assign that, and we'll leave the other two for now then. And there we go. There is my great sword. Look at that. I love it, and that'll keep that'll keep healing me as we go through. Right then. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go over to the main store a bit. I think just to go and. Uh, Get that sorted, and then we'll probably go on to some management stuff over in the Heroes Guild and go from there. Right, to the next location. So, you finally met Jack of Blades. I met him long ago, of course, when he burned down our home and cut out my eyes. But he wasn't lying when he said he knew where Mother was. He's kept her in Bargate Prison ever since the night of the raid. I haven't been able to get inside. 
But the archaeologist knows of an ancient secret passage. You've met him already, haven't you? Jack's creatures are still after him, just like they're after me. I can't stay here much longer. I've left the details in a quest card at the guild. You have to get Mother out. She's the only one who knows how to reach the sword. You did read the book I sent, didn't you? The sword is everything, and it could turn the world to nothing. Oh, and Mother has a gift for you too. More power than you can imagine. Check the guild for more quests. Aha! Uh -huh. Right then, so... We've got an army of undead down there. <laughs> and we've got the Sword of Aeons it was that was in the book. Remember, we did read it. So now we need to find it. And of course, Jack of Blades is the evil guy. If you couldn't tell, now you can. So some guys down here, there's not. Apparently there's a gate there, but we'll come back to that later, I think. Because no point, we've not got time! We've got some armies to kill. This ain't no walking dead! Oh my god, this sword is so cool! Oh my god! I do not regret spending all that money to buy it. And with the health augmentation as well. Oh my god, this was totally worth it! Oh my god! My great sword will kill you! What do these look like? They look like something from something else. What am I trying to think of? A little bit like Doverkeen. It's not what I'm thinking of, though. I'm thinking more of like a... Oh, this guy's tough, actually. I'm thinking more of like a... Like a demon or something from something. If you know what I mean. Hmm, can't put my finger on it. I'll think, I'll, I'll think about it, though. Right, so let's go back down here. Back down to where these guys are. and just t take these guys out. <laughs> What's that noise? Is that you? Right, let's go and kill everyone. It's like swing my sword wildly around. Let's look at that. Oh, it's so satisfying when they smash. Behind you now, mate. Oh my god. This is kind of amazing. Oh my god, this, this weapon's so cool. Right then. So now where we've got to go? Back to the guild. Ah, that's good, that's good actually, because I want to go back there. But before we do that, I want to go back to Oakvale, so let me just uh, do this. And then go down to Oakvale. There we go. And speed us on our way. Away we go. Cool. You! Yes, you! What is this madness? Um, hello, sir. Ah, it's you, Avatar. We could use the help of a hero. Of course, I was hoping for someone like Thunder to come along. But I suppose you might be up to the task. We've been tracking a well-known assassin. We found out he's hiding out around Twinblade's tent in the bandit camp. Of course, we'd never be able to get in. But it shouldn't be a problem for a resourceful hero such as yourself, huh? This is a matter of vengeance as much as of justice. That scumbag killed my brother. There's 1,000 gold waiting for you if you do the job. Well, yeah. I was going there anyway. Splendid. You're doing us and society a great service. You'll receive your payment after you've killed him. If you make it back alive. Anything else? Still haven't found him. They sure didn't teach you much of that fancy guild of yours, did they? The assassin is outside Twinblade's tent. Got it? I'm surprised this is all down here. Before one, I didn't know this was there. This is not what I came here for. Right, and there's two things down there. I'm guessing one's a minstrel, one is the oh, games master. And there's two down there actually. One's a chicken kicking. Yay! It's definitely. Hey, oh, Whisper. You. What's going on? Hello, Whisper. I'm glad you came. I wanted to talk to you before I go. You hadn't heard I'm leaving the guild. My brother wanted me to be a great hero, but... Well, you were always one step ahead of me. 
I had to work so hard to live up to his expectations. But you always made everything seem easy. It wasn't till you spared my life in the arena that I realized how jealous I was of you. And what a good friend you've been. I'm sorry I was so tough on you in training. The truth is, you've always been the better hero. Just don't tell my brother I said that. And she's obviously getting a boat out of it. Oh, that's really sad. Right, okay, let's double I'm going to double check these then, just to make sure. Yeah, so it's definitely one of those two down there then, yeah. Alright, so this one down here, I think it's a chicken one. This is one of them is going to be a chicken. One of them is going to be uh, the cell sword that we can hire. The good cell sword, though. The fighter for justice. Fight yep, that's idea. them. Slam, his name is. Then down here, we should have. Is it chicken kicking? All right, I don't even need to check this one. I don't think it is the chicken kicking competition. Right, but what I'll do though is I'll save you the boredom of running back. I will skip ahead Can until I'm in. Chicken nope, chicken I'm fine, man. I'll skip ahead until when I'm in the location where I'm trying to get to. Right, see you in a bit. Okay, so here is what I wanted to go. I wanted to get to the abandoned road, which actually is, for once, abandoned. <laughs> it's quite funny, really. Ah, there is an important quest card of the guild for you. Muchas gracias, good master. But I do not need it. In fact, before I forget, I want to use some items. Right, produce. Products. <laughs> potion, sorry. Right, yeah, uh, i got these ones. Elixir of Life and Will Master's Elixir. I always get them confused with the ages of potions. So I'm going to use them now because they increase your mana and health, respectively. Potions. Will Persia. Mana? Yeah, that's right. Actually, what was this one? No, Elixir of Life. Cool. And that's that. Right. And look at this. So I showed you earlier. I've got these butterflies. They've disappeared right now. Let's get rid of that. Where have they gone? No, should come back, butterflies. Stop moving. Yeah, you can see those butterflies and my halo. That's because I'm super, super good. You get butterflies flying around your head. It's Captain Butterfly and the crew of the halo. <laughs> get it? Because I've got a halo. And he's a captain. I don't know why he's a captain, but he's a captain. Anyway, yes. So that's that taken care of. Let's go up here. And speak to the demon door. That's where we're coming to do. And then we're going to go into the camp to go and kill that assassin. But yeah, see, I thought that was quite cool. It's, Cap it's Captain Butterfly and the crew of the Halo. It's this spaceship. Which is actually quite funny in two, two retrospects. Respectives. In two, in two facts, but I'll talk about that later. Alright, demon door. Knock, knock. What? Oh. You're not one of them, are you? My eyesight's not what it used to be. One was a gallant, then there was the laugh. Ah, I recognize you, the gallant knight. Where is the evil mage I await? I was going to say, what's wrong with my outfit, mate? <sighs> Typical. Right, okay, then let's go to equipment. Let's go over to this and put on the dark mage outfit. Dark will use his outfit. Where? Now speak to him again. I recognize you, the evil maid. Where is the mischievous bandit I await? Uh, look away, door. I'm changing. Right, so equipment. Down to outfits. Go on to the bandit outfit. And the bearded bandit requests permission to enter. I recognize you. The mischievous bandit. My friends, welcome. Tar, very much like. Right, let's just change back to my outfit so I, before I forget. To my awesome plate armor. I love my plate armor. It's so cool. Bright plate mail. Cool. It actually does a little bit of scariness, but oh, it's so cool. And this sort of technically is a helmet, but it's not a technical part of the uh, suit. But uh, we'll see that later on. So we go in here. The Bitter Shrine. Saw that electricity. What happened here? Oh, what's in the box? Is it a weapon? 
the Doll Maces Maker's Mace. Uh, what's the damage on that? Still not as good as what my Great Mace, does, my Great Axe does. Cool, but that's another legendary weapon. Nice. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. I don't get what these these lightning bits are for. I'm a bit confused. Do you know Captain Captain Butterfly? Oh, he doesn't reply. Cool, right, well, I guess now I'll head on off and I'll see you when I'm at Twin Blades Camp. Twin Blades Tent, so he should be around here somewhere then. Hello, Assassin, I'm here to collect your bounty. Is it you that I'm looking for? You haven't seen a group of guards around here, have you? Big, hairy fellows led by a real nasty piece of work. That bastard's been hunting me down for days. Can you believe it? My own brother wanted to kill me. I know we haven't always got on. I mean, he joined the bloody guards and I, well, I went a different way. But we're still brothers. We're not even that different. He's killed his fair share of people too, you know. I know what he's thinking. Mother's ill again, and he's never been able to convince her to write me out of her will. Besides, who's going to question a guard who brings down an assassin? Uh, hello. You haven't seen a guard around. All this waiting's got me on edge. What do I do? Do I kill the... I guess I go and speak to the guard again and tell him. I'll get a recall anyway. Because when you travel to a location, you can always recall back to it. So let's go back to Oakvale. Speak to Mr. Guard and tell him what we found out. Okay, well, let's go and run off to find this guard then. What is... I'm, guessing, I'm guessing this is what we do. I mean, if not, I guess I'll go and kill the assassin? I mean, he is an assassin after all, I guess? I don't quite understand. Right, anyway, I'm trying to find out which which house I should open up a permanent residence. I was going to do this one, but I think the house in Bowerstone, so I think I'm going to be there more often. Right, Mr. Guard, I found out some more information. What's going on here? What are you playing at? You were supposed to kill him, not have a nice, friendly chat. Now go back and finish the job. But what's a good thing to do? What are you playing now? Oh, but I don't know what to do. I guess kill the assassin. But then I'm helping out this guy get out of the wheel. I don't know. <laughs> so I think this is one of those simple things where it should be just kill the assassin. He's a bad guy. But I think this is a morally grey area. Like, he's trying to kill him for nefarious means. But he is the good guy at the end of the day because he's a guard. Ah. <sighs> Morally ambiguous. So we're going to play a little game here. It's called the Double Double Cross. I know all of you people out there in the community are very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Very clever and like to do things cleverly. So I'm going to do something very clever right now. You haven't seen a guard around here, have you? Big man, stupid face. He's after my blood. I know. Hey, put that weapon away, will you? I'm a bit jumpy at the moment. You could get yourself hurt. Can't be too careful these days. Ah, there is an important quest card at the guild for you. So he sent you, did he? I should have known that coward wouldn't have the guts to kill me himself. So, how much is he, um, you know, paying you? One thousand gold, huh? Hmm. Now what would you say if I doubled that, and you get rid of my brother instead? With him gone, the inheritance will be all mine. Yes. I tell you what, the 2,000 gold is yours now, if you accept. Hmm. Tempting offer, but no. No? Do you know how many people I have to kill to earn 2,000? What about 2,500? Surely you can't turn that down. Hmm. Yes, okay, then I'll take your guard, your money, sorry. Marvellous. I'm usually the one being paid for these things, but here you go. Pleasure doing business with you. You are a true mercenary. Oh, am I? Ha <laughs> ha! I must say you've got guts. Take my gold and then try to kill me, huh? You should know better than to double cross an assassin. <laughs> Look at that, see? The double double cross. Hold on, hold on. Still getting used to my new weapon. Oh my god. That was a trophy, but I think I've just done it in one shot. Alright, so speed's not that best, but once I level up my speed and stuff, I'll be alright. And my other thing as well, my uh, 
toughness or physique or something. Cool, yes, you see, I take his money. And then I kill him and receive the 1,000 gold from the other guy as well. Isn't that the double double cross? Assassination contract. This contract marks out a Darkwood trader for death. It is signed by the assassin. Oh. You see, I've got 14 good points from just killing those those ones there. Which is not too bad. But if I go back now to Oakvale... Because you see, when I, I've got 20 bad points for, a kill, for taking his bribe. But I've got 14 good points for doing that. Let's go back to Oakvale. Go speak to his brother. Obviously, they're both a bit evil, but... Because they're both trying to... Oh, hello. Because <laughs> they're both trying to uh, kill the other to get more inheritance. Uh, but the assassin does kill innocents as well. Like that Darkwood trader as well. So, you know, that happens. So let's go speak with him. And the double double cross will be complete. We've got 2,500 gold from the assassin. And we'll get the 1,000 from this guy. Gives us 3,500. And... You think he got him, boss? <laughs> Not a chance. My brother's been a dagger in my backside since we were kids. I won't be rid of him that easy. You were always my mother's favourite too. Oh, I'm sure he's a very nice assassin, Toby. You could learn a lot from him, you could. <sighs> Still, it's not nice, is it? Wanting your brother dead. Who the hell asked you? I'd rip his throat out with my own hands if I had a chance. Filthy murdering dog. Right, boss? He's brought nothing but disgrace in my family. I'll be damned if I'm letting him get an ounce of that inheritance. Well, well, look who's come back alive. Yes, twice it seems. Excellent. That contract belonged to him all right. Our hunt is finally over. Right, here's your gold then. I suppose you've earned it. Yay! Anything else? No? Cool, and I didn't see it happen, but apparently I got myself... Uh, 40 good points from doing that so even where even so if I didn't get that 40 for killing them I would have got this 40 for completing his quest so it would have sort of balanced it back out so you know what in the end of the day we did pretty good didn't we we did pretty good right now how much money have I got again how can I check how can I check I think it's this one would mind buying this house if I can would be nice nice sort of buying of the house uh, I got 11,000 should I buy it and rent it out no, I'd sooner buy it all and just like fix it up all the same when I get it. Anyway, back to the Assassin Guild where we shall do some Assassin points. Assassin points? We'll actually do some points in the old experience pool. And we'll go from there. And when I get back, remind me to talk about Captain Butterfly. And we're back. Now let's quickly talk about Captain Butterfly. Yeah, I've called him Captain Butterfly and the crew of the Halo. Because the Halo looks like a spaceship sort of thing. But the whole space thing comes from the Butterfly. Because I watch a guy called Jesse Cox. And he's creation like my his channel law, so to speak, is the Great Space Butterfly. So I thought Butterfly, Captain Butterfly is like the captain of a space crew. And the Halo Halo series, I thought that was quite clever. Didn't mean it. I mean the first bit I did, but not the second one. Anyway, well, let's spend some stuff. Now again, I want to spend most of it in here if I can. Because I want to try and get rid of those magical uh, tattoos. If it's possible, I'm not sure. But let's go. Let's go for some for some, for some physique. Oh, cool. And I'm talking for health, toughness, or what? Uh, toughness is damaged. Okay, so let's go for health, I think, is probably going to be best. I think six is the highest level. No, I think seven or eight is. Yeah, that's a seven. That's unfortunate. Right, I can't buy any more there. Can I buy any? I can't buy any more there either. I probably can buy some of that, but I don't particularly want to. I'm, gonna, I'm just, I'm just going to save it. I'm just going to save it because I need... To get rid of those magical tattoos, if it's possible. I don't know if it is, but I want to. It looks like they're going away. No, it's not. Never mind. Ugh. I know. It's me. Hello, Guildmaster. I'll talk to this. Actually, no, I'll talk to him. Your sister left a quest card for you. I suggest you take it. I shall. Let's have a little look, see, shall we? I'm not even going to bother with boasts. I mean, pff. oh my god. Oh, look at this. Oh my god. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Side quests. I love them. Lost thread. Find the trader's lost brother and return him to safety. Cool, that's the abandoned road. I should have took this earlier. Damn it. Break the siege. Break a siege in Knothole Glade. Yes, please, I can do that. Trader massacre, we're not doing that. And then the rescue the archaeologist. Again? God, that guy that's getting captured. Oh, maybe Jack stole him, who killed my sister's eyes and my father, 
who's up there <laughs> laughing at us all. Take it. Cool, right then. Speak to Gildy. And then we'll probably go to Bowerstone, actually. The archaeologist is in Bowerstone jail. You must rescue him. Oh. Yes, we'll do that. Right, well, we'll go to Bowerstone. I'm just going to go out this way because I want to go and see if there's any boasts worth taking. But I won't show you, just in case I don't choose any. But yeah, I'll see you in Bowerstone. South. Okay, in Bowerstone South. I've lost my weapon. Sadly. Right, and let's go to Bowerstone North. Now that we've got the seal from the arena, we can actually get through... Plus, we're supposed to go here. Oh, hello there. Oh, yes. You're well known enough to come in. Yeah, rest right. Let's go to Bowerstone North then. Oh, my God, this is exciting. Oh, yeah, I'm keeping this in. <laughs> Bowerstone. Oh, it's still the same map thing, though. Which is unusual. Oh, oh, oh. Welcome to Bowerstone North, hero. This is a quiet district, and we like to keep it that way. We don't tolerate uncivil behaviour here, so mind you don't end up in our holding cell. We have a raving lunatic locked up right now, but he won't be seeing many more sunrises, if you know what I mean. Now, Lady Grey desires to speak with you. You'll find her grace in the gardens outside of mention. This is a great honour, even for a hero, so mind your manners. Is he the sheriff? Oh, it's actually a very small area. I was. Huh. I was going to do this in pointing, but it's so small, I might even just do it now. Just to finish this episode. I mean, look at it. It's not that big at all. I'm going in here, look. Oh my god, look at these houses. Can I, why can't I buy one in Bowser North? Oh god, I can hear it. Oh, that's like reminds me of the Lady Grey's house. Oh dear. It's loot. Bright villager gloves. Oh my god, it's a good job I didn't buy them, actually. I was going to buy them, but I'm glad I didn't. Bright lower dress. Oh my god, cool. I wanted all this stuff. I was going to buy them, but I'm glad I didn't. I mean, I'm not going to wear this dress, but it's nice to... Ooh, 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 ooh. Take it carefully down. I will. Yeah, but it's nice because I actually wanted that stuff, like, to keep in my collection. So I'm glad that I got this stuff. Right. What do you want, sir? The mayor really seems to like you, but don't think I'm not watching your every move. Oh yeah, did you see me steal those uh, clothes? <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> Coming through. What have we got in here? Oh! I don't know what I got. Oh no, what did I get? What did I get? That's going to bug me. I'm going to have to try and find out. Right. It was a book. I think that's probably going to be the last book for the... Uh, quest in the old uh, bibbidi bobbidi boo um, you know that place the uh, school so we'll actually do that today 500 gold yeah yeah no one saw that no one see that good 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 that's nice nice see so you didn't see that great right then carrying on with my looting adventure yeah this is usually what I do in pointy if you don't if you've never seen a pointy episode before but look, yeah, look at this place so small I don't even need to bother I am on your side I'm just looting at the moment Excuse me. Don't laugh at me. Why are you laughing at me? Don't laugh at me. He's going to see me if I do that. Oh, there's one there as well. If we go upstairs first, see what's up here. And then do downstairs. Because no one can see me up here. The foreign moustache. Ooh. And boom. The phrygmatist? The phrygmatist? Oh, interesting. More food for the fire in pointing. Not sure when the next one of that will be. All right. uh, yes, would you all please leave the area? I will, if you leave. Array. Is everyone going? Array. Are you going to go? No? Array. I'm, I'm going to wait for them to Array. go and then I'll be back. Okay, they're not moving, so I might have to just come back to that one then. What is this place? Is this a These shop? Oh, it is and a shop. Uh... Oh, hello. Drago. You come to the right place. Drago. What do you sell, Drago? Hopefully some nice things. Uh dokey, so I don't really need I don't even know why I'm looking at that. I don't even need that stuff. I've already got all I need for that stuff. Now you sell some good master stuff, I don't know. I want to last a longbow, but that's still excessively expensive. Do you see any key items here that I might need? Dollar view? Oh yes please, I haven't got that yet. Let's purchase one of those. Hey, it's me! Except it's not bold. 
Oh, and a Thunder Hero. Oh, you can get it from here as well. That's cool. Right, now, can you purchase my Obsidian Great Hammer? Why can you not buy this Obsidian Great Hammer? I don't understand why he doesn't want it. The old kingdom. Can't you feel it? It's returning. Is it? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? 500 gold. Just stole his money. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, that's how you do it. Right, have they left the house yet? No, yes, I think they have. Pete, yes, uh, it is me. I'll leave. Um, Scoozy. Don't mean to be a bother, but could you please leave? This is my house now, and I've taken it. Actually, if you kill people, you can actually buy a house. Which, I mean, I would like to be able to do, but... Ah, oh, I could have got it then. Go away. Yes! War potion. I just need to get the things on this side. Have a pleasant visit, sir. Trying to. You just push those girls outside. Oh, that's a good thing. Now you too. You too, sir. Not to leave, please. I'm about to conduct some uh, research. I suppose Avatar is quite nice, really. Hooray. Yes, I suppose I am. Hooray. Look, leave. Can I push them out? Oh, maybe I can push them out. Hey, hey. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. Just, just, just want the guard oh, to go. Am I pleased to see you, hero? Yes. Go. Now look away, lady. <laughs> you don't want to see this. Yes. Damn it. That is just typical. Hello. Hello. Hey. Great. What's down here? The jail, apparently so. Hello. Hello. Hmm. You know, a man of your status ought to pay a visit to the mayor. She lives in Bowerstone Manor. The big building over by the shop. Oh. Hello. She lives in. That's fishy. Hello. Ah, the arch. You're not the architect, are you, or are you? I'm not sure if you are actually. Is that who I need to speak to? That's not who I need to speak to, is it? No one's home. The mutton chop beard. I thought we already had that, but that's okay then. Hello there. Hello. I'm glad you didn't see that. Okay, I'll speak to you in a minute. Oh my god, they got a globe. You've got a globe? How do I get a globe? Can you look away, please? Oh, strip beard. Strip beard. Sorry, itchy ear. Right, keep going, then we'll just have a look, we'll look around the place. I've actually talked to this guy. I don't think he's part of the quest. Look, what is going on, mate? Finally, someone to talk to. You've got to help me out. The mayor's having me executed. That's what happens when you start asking too many questions round here. That woman is a demon, but no one will believe me. Just because I was wrong about the guards controlling our dreams by spiking our water supplies. Her sister was an angel. Would have made a wonderful mayor. And I know Lady Grey killed her. I just know it. You have to help me prove it. Otherwise, Bowerstone will remain in her clutches and I'll be executed. Um. Yeah, sure. Yes, finally. We're going to bring that crazy witch down. All you need to do is get her dead sister to tell you what really happened. Don't give me that look. We all know ghosts exist. You've seen them. I've seen them. We've all seen them. Lady Grey's sister, Amanda, had a sweetheart called Rodri. Nice guy. Usually hangs out in Barrowfields. If anyone knows how to entice her out of oblivion, it's him. Oh my god, if that's the guy I bought the blue mushroom from and he give, he would have given it to me for free. Oh my god. Oh my god, all this stuff is just crazy. Right then, it's around the corner. Let's go see what's down here. We're just going to literally look around the places. I think we're pretty much done that actually now that I think about it. Uh... No. Actually, maybe, yeah. Yes, actually, I think I will. What's up, Lady Grey? So, you're the one everyone is talking about. I must say, you have me intrigued. Will you walk with me to the courtyard? I would so love to speak with you. It's lovely here, don't you think? But sometimes it feels like the loneliest place in the world. You see, I haven't married yet. 
Somehow I've never met a man worthy enough. I've always known that only someone who could conquer the arena could conquer me. Perhaps you could bring me a gift from town. I'm sure you can find something fitting for a lady. I like her hair because it's all obviously different from all the others. <laughs> the way it sort of like flows and animated. It's well, it's animated, should we say? All right, but now I'm guessing she's asking us to woo her, much like Thunder was probably doing. That's why he was like, "But my lady, I'm sure it was just a mistake." Cool. Right, Bowerstone Manor. Can we get into Bowerstone Manor? Was it locked? It's probably locked. Now I think about it. Of course it is. Right then, so we can go into the jail. That's where the quest is. So I might leave that till next time. So what do we do now? I think I'm going to quickly. Go to sleep in my bed in Pebbles Grotto. Pebble Grotto. That's my house. That's what I called it. And then finish it there. What do you say? You've been talking to that crazy Gethin, haven't you? And I suppose he's been yapping on about one of his twisted conspiracy theories. The man is sick in the head. A danger to society. <laughs> Won't be for very long, though. The mayor is seeing to that. That's why she's having him executed. And a good thing it is, too. He's gone too far with his latest lies. The mayor's a good woman. Hanging around that Giffin is bad for your health. You hear? That's why she's having him... Okay, cool. Um, It's pretty interesting. Oh, can I go and speak to that girl now? It's pretty interesting, all these things, because, I mean, I think we know she's a bad person from what we read in her little diary, but she doesn't seem like a bad person at the moment. I suppose she's got you getting her gifts, has she? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Well, anyway, if you want to impress her, you ought to buy her a black rose. She truly loves those flowers. <laughs> She's the only one who does. They're creepy, I think. No? Okay, cool. Right, do you sell them? Is that why you're asking? I suppose she's got you... Well, she truly loves... No, okay, then fine. Right, well, that's that, then. We'll sort all this out in the next adventures. But I think we're going to go and finish it now just by giving uh, the last, hopefully the last book, to... Uh, the guys over in the Bowerstone School. Back in a sec. <laughs> so uh, nice knees there. Right, so we're at the school. We've got a, still, we've still got a very long to-do list left because uh, we've got another thing down there at the tailor by the looks of things. But let's talk to this guy first. Hello, yeah. Mr. Gout. Uh, hello again. Have you found any interesting reading material? The tailor's tragedy would be perfect for our after-school drama society. Yes. Take this last book, my friend. Thank you, hero. I'm sure we can put this to good use. What strange land is this to which the storm my body has <laughs> delivered? Surely heaven it is. And I be dead, for as in a dream I saw the ship torn. From neath me by the waves and felt death's fell kiss. But hush now, who comes here? Truly my eyes doth deceive me, for I thought I saw some strange thing move amongst the wreck by the shore. Now I know that I'd be really dead. For in this fair land do angles tread. That's angels, Billy, not angles. <laughs> Before you go, there's something I'd like to present to you. On one of our excursions, little Billy strayed off the path, as he always does, and found this. Silver key, yes. He tried to hide it under his shirt, if you can imagine. I'm sure you can put it to good use. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> oh, that sounds scary, Jack of Blades. Oh, that's quite funny, that. Angles instead of angels. Oh, I love it. Hello. I need a wedding ring, I think. Hooray! I'm trying to find... So I'm probably going to live in Bowerstone, I think, because it's like, it's the biggest town. It's like, I think it plays a bigger part in uh, later life. But I'm trying to find someone that doesn't sound like a... Have a safe visit. Will you help us? Something is coming. Something evil. Yay! Yeah, I'm trying to find someone that's not... Just... Utterly crazed. Oh, it's the minstrel. What are you doing over at a blacksmith? Oh, I don't want to talk to you, do I? 
Okay, that, well, that is it for this tale of adventure. We've had a lot of stuff to do. Our to-do list is completed, sort of. Actually, what do you say again? Hmm, the silent type, huh? Two words. Wedding ring. <laughs> so I'm just trying to find someone that I can woo who's in this town. Because you can only marry someone in the town you're in. I would prefer to have them here, considering this is where I'm going to be living. <laughs> I need a wedding ring, I think. Yay! You don't sound too <laughs> simple, should we say. Anyway, that's it for this adventure then. So if you want to find out what happens in the next tale of a hero, then please click on the next video to turn the page of this metaphorical book. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! 